Hey everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. This is me Nitya and this is my Heyday channel. And in today's video, it's exciting. It's the farm visitor bonus event again and I'm here to show you guys what I did today. Last week I got really lucky because Tinkerbell, I still remember their name, they were selling 10 peaches for one coin and I got a profit of about 100,000 coins. And today in Farm Visitor event, I also got lucky this time. I will show you what happened. So usually what I do to make coins in Farm Visitor event is I go to the shop, I hoard products that are really expensive and I also find it very common. For example, you can see in my barn right now, uh, I have some bouquets, I have some hats, I have some smoothies and the blanket would be the ideal one, but I did not prepare. I'm just doing it today. Like right now, I'm holding the product, so I'm not getting enough blankets. So this is the disadvantage of not preparing ahead. This is what I've been doing for the past half an hour or so. And I also have my um, coin booster activated. It's only for eight hours, 40 person. Good enough for me. And when I was shopping, I found this farm. I or farm mocked him. I see a lot of farms like this where they have their farm is completely filled with or planted with trees and they keep selling fruits like this. So usually I hold blankets or smoothies or bouquets or hats for the barn and for silo I hold um, what is it yeah the blackberries. So you see, I have like 174 blackberries. I have some in my farm. Okay, they are not ready. So anyway, so that's what I usually hold because it's very, very easy to find uh, blackberries on the market, but not anything else. This is not the most expensive uh, uh, fruit in the farm, okay? But this is easy to find. That's why I'm, I usually hold blackberries. But right now, because I found this amazing farm who is selling mangoes, non-stop ah, again i got lucky like i'm gonna buy all of this this is holding for me i'm buying at full price that's okay because the when the visitor comes he's going to ask for double the amount or almost double the amount and on top of that i also have the booster so i'm going to get a lot of money he's asking for mangoes a cute little girl she's asking for her grandma 560 mangoes so I have 904 I got from the other farm and as you see they're asking only for half or maybe one third of what you have not the entire amount they're asking for 560 and I have 904 it's almost half and more the takeaway from this video for you guys is that you don't you don't have to really hold only barn items you can also hold the silo items like how I did right now with the mangoes and make sure you have a lot of uh, mangoes or whatever fruit that this person in the market is selling uh, just don't buy 50 of them and then wait for the visitor to come they are not going visitor to come and ask for that product or that crop they're not going to ask for it it has to be like significantly more than the rest of the crops in your silo like this for example 3344 but the rest of them is really really less it has to be like that for the visitor to ask for the for this crop you want to sell so make sure of that it doesn't have to be mangoes it can be any crop that you can find in the market which is abundant that's the keyword so now i have earned around two hundred thousand coins doing what i did now and i'll be continuously doing it for the rest of the day because i still have six more six more hours of the coin booster so yeah so good luck for your event and that's it for today's video guys i hope you found this video really useful if so please click the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe it's free it really helps me to create more videos uh, like this and i really appreciate it and if you're interested more in the farm visitor bonus event how to make more coins feel free to click the videos on the screen right now and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye